All right, everybody, welcome back. It's Chuck. But well, we have FSD version 13.2.1 on the Cybertruck here, and we are going to do some uh, 7.30 a.m. rush hour unprotected left-hand turns uh, just to get them going. Yesterday, I did a couple trial runs, and um, the truck does not do the question mark, uh, and I'm suspecting that actually what's happening is they've removed the ability of going to the median. Now, I don't know if I'm right or wrong on that scenario, and I'm uh, just waiting on FSD to be available here. I'm not exactly sure why it isn't yet. But while I'm chatting to you about that, I, without the question mark, you can't go into the median in the Cybertruck. Um, and I think that that is an interesting concept considering that the Cybertruck barely fits in this median. So I wonder if they've just changed the model. The Model Y um, could, can go to the, the median very easily, but I just don't know if the Cybertruck can or can't. So. Let me just double check that I've got everything set up here. I am full self-driving, I am set up on standard. I do have that all cleaned up. All right, let me see what's going on. Here we are, getting ready to do our uh, first unprotected left-hand turn in the Cybertruck on version 13.2.1. Let's give a uh, look and see how we look. Pay attention to the road, Chuck. Didn't take long, did it? All right, we got a car in the median. And a nice slow creep, which is exactly what I wanted. Uh, definitely, I do not have the right of way here. So no matter what the gap scenarios look like from the left, that car in the median has the right of way uh, to uh, either do a U-turn or come into this intersection. So, yeah, this is a pretty busy time of day. Another dry wipe. Look at the streaks it leaves. I don't know what's going on here with these dry wipes. It's just really, it almost hurts to think that that rubber wiper is drying. Uh, clean, trying to clean the windshield. I don't know if this is part of the better camera cleaning functionality. All right, here we go. We have a gap. They're coming in, but I'm not clear from the right. So is it going to go into the median? It's not budging. All right, I've got a nice wide open to the left here. And this is where it would go into the median before. Okay, it's going. And is it open from the right? No question mark. If it goes, it's got to go. You got to go. All right, I'm taking over there with a little bit of an acceleration. It jumped out in front of uh, that car there, and I jumped into the middle lane because it was just lollygagging into the lane. Uh, I, either, that, that was a scenario where if you'd have punched it, I'd let you do it, but you didn't punch it. You just lollygagged into the lane, and this car is going 50 miles an hour. So that was not the right behavior you know it did that yesterday in that highlight clip it kind of lollygagged out into the lane right in front of another vehicle i kind of gave it the benefit of the doubt yesterday but that was the exact same uh behavior there all right let's try another one all right here we go again let's see what we got this time that was a little disappointing although it was a repeat behavior so we may actually have a, a new scenario here there, the creep is better on this version. Now I'm wide open to the left again, and I'm wide open from the right. So this should be an easy roller. It should go right now, and without a doubt, it should just roll. Now the smoothness of this turn has definitely improved. It's this part of the turn right here where it jumped in the lane, and it's proceeding that I was worried about on that last turn. It didn't accelerate. Um, not exactly sure. But it does show you, like, without a, con a traffic constraint, that that is the shape of the unprotected left-hand turn right now. Uh, the big question is the median behavior. So let's try another one. All right, here we go on number three. Nice nits of stop. Nice smooth creep. And we've got to wait for a few cars from the left. And it's building from the right because there's a red light and a green arrow. So more than likely, we're going to get a pretty easy scenario for another roller here. Definitely wide open from the left. I got one car coming. Let's see. Is it going to wait on that car? There's a roll. Go, and now it's going to roll. And another smooth roll with no traffic. So that's two of the exact same maneuver that were performed the exact same way. So I think with the... Uh, the the new version that the question mark is gone on every single one of the scenarios. It didn't even do it with oncoming traffic. So I need to get traffic coming from the right uh, to try to get it to stop just to see if it stays uh, it put or if it forces itself like it did on that first one. Let's try another one. All right, here we go again. Let's see if we hit the traffic a little bit better this time. And there's our NHTSA stop. Definitely got some traffic coming from both directions at the moment. 
and a nice smooth creep with a much smoother creep at the end. Now I've got a very tiny gap from the left. It's probably gonna go for this because it's clear from the right. Is it gonna take this gap? Yep, it did. No question mark, no wait, and it worked once again. So that was a good scenario where it made a good quick decision on the gap from the left but once again, it was open for the right to complete the full maneuver. I haven't got it to stop in the median once yet, even to take a look. So it definitely feels like one smooth maneuver at the moment. All right, here we go again. Maybe I'll get one of these to work out just like I want to get the test done. Nice nits of stop. And a smooth creep out to the edge. All right, we're definitely waiting from the left. There's a small gap here, right? now and there's cars coming from the right so what's it gonna do no question mark and it can't go it can't go it can't go it, is it gonna fit it can't go ouch i feel like i'm sticking out so it forced itself and it waited uh that time but my butt was definitely sticking out to where the cars had to kind of go around me there so we definitely showed that it can wait it had to wait that time but it didn't do the question mark that I thought we had put into this model so that it could fit a little bit better. So that was probably the one I was waiting on just to see how it was going. I'm, I'm glad it didn't jump out in front of that car. That, that was the, the biggest improvement that I, it didn't do that. But um, I did not like the angle in the median. So I don't know. What do you guys think about that one? That was kind of the one I was hoping to get. Let's try another one. Okay, here we go again. There's our NHTSA stop. And let's see if we get any traffic from the right. I'm almost not even interested in traffic from the left any longer. There's one car here, a small gap. All right, it's gonna get another roller here, but there's a lot of traffic coming. So is it, oh, it's gonna, it, you gotta go, you gotta go. Okay, it kind of didn't use the acceleration I wanted for that oncoming car, but it, it had this, it had the gap, so it timed it, it was just fine. I would have boosted a little bit more just because of the speed of this uh, slug of oncoming traffic. Um, but it was wide from the right, so once again, it, it went. So I need to work harder on seeing when the traffic is coming from the right to get this to demonstrate the median behavior a little bit more consistently. Let's try another one. All right. Don't know why that happened. Let's see. Here we go again. Nits a stop. Slow creep. I like the creeping behavior. Wide open from the left, but it's not from the right. Okay, this is the one I wanted. Slow, perpendicular approach. It needs to wait, it needs to wait. It's pausing and now it's gonna roll. So I think that is this new unprotected left-hand turn. It just goes for it with a perpendicular angle. If it has to wait from the right, it just kind of waits with its butt sticking out. They had that fixed, if you wanna call it fixed, whatever your thoughts are on this maneuver, uh, in the previous version with a very pronounced question mark. I'm not sure why they would have taken that away, but I haven't seen one question mark maneuver and twice now it's had to wait on vehicles and it just sort of paused there as best it could with the size of the vehicle. So I think that is the unprotected left-hand turn uh, profile in this version. Um, I'm not exactly sure I would say it's better because the waiting scenario, in my opinion, creates a dangerous uh, pause uh, with your uh, car truck sticking out into the road. Uh, I'd rather you not even try it if you're going to stick out into the road or don't have the ability of, of fitting. So anyway, I, I've already posted a lot about uh, version 13 2.1 of both the Cybertruck and the Model Y. It is driving amazingly well. I love this version. Uh, obviously, torture testing, you're going to find some nuances and behaviors with repeat testing. And I think I found the unprotected left-hand turn behavior um, isn't as good as it was on the previous version. It's making good decisions. It's just its profile and its function on fitting into the median has changed. So I think we're going to end it there. What do you guys think? Um, I'm calling this not a regression, but a change in behavior for some reason. Um, and it just doesn't like to fit into the median uh, anymore. Anyway, I think that's all I'm going to do. Leave your comments below. Hopefully enjoy this content and that we'll see you next time. Have a great day, everybody.